The aim of this procedure is to genetically manipulate Vibrio cholerae using this quick and efficient method, which is based on natural transformation and flip recombination. This is accomplished by first preparing a proper chitin source, as chitin is the natural inducer of transformation. During the second step, a DNA construct is generated using two rounds of PCR and then natural transformation is performed, allowing the plasmid PBR flip containing bacteria to take up the PCR fragment and incorporate it into their genomes. Next, a temperature upshift is used to induce the plasmid encoded flipase enzyme for removal of the flip recombination target or FRT site flanked antibiotic resistance cassette. In the final step, the bacteria are cured of the FLP encoding plasmid. Ultimately, PCR and sequencing are used to show that the genetic manipulation was successful. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, such as using suicide plasmids to genetically manipulate Vibrio cholerae, is that this method is very fast and efficient. Begin by weighing 50 to 80 mg samples of chitin flakes in standard 1.5 ml plastic tubes. Then, keeping the lids of the tubes open, autoclave the flakes. After the autoclave has cooled, immediately close the lids and store the autoclave chitin flakes at room temperature. At least six oligonucleotides are required to amplify the DNA regions of interest, as well as the FRT-flanked antibiotic cassette by PCR. It is also recommended to include a pair of oligonucleotide primers outside of the inserted PCR fragment. This allows checking for integration and correct excision.